Hey guys, quick video for BMS version 433. Um, as some of you may have noticed, the control scheme for the new version of BMS is completely different from 432. And if you're not one of the lucky guys that has a Thrustmaster Cougar, you're likely to have issues initially setting up your controls because all the controls have changed, all the bindings are different. It took me about two hours to figure out what to bind onto my joystick. Uh, I'm also not one of those special few who have a Cougar or a Warthog, so because of that, I have to bind things to my Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. So what I thought I would do is go over the essential buttons that you need bound on your stick, as well as provide a list of common uh, keyboard commands that you should probably have at hand, sort of printed out and as a reference. Um, the tutorial I have on how to set up a data cartridge and do target steer points, threat steer points and all that is still relevant and is still accurate. The only part that needs an update um, is the one on controls. And I'm releasing this mainly because I've had a ton of people asking me for it. I honestly haven't given this a ton of like thought or research. It's just the controls I'm currently using and maybe it'll be useful for some people. Uh, so we'll get straight down into it. So I have the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro and these are the controls I would say are very important to have on a HOTUS or have on a joystick I should say. First one is going to be your second trigger detent. Your second trigger detent is your guns button. Um, Basically, if you pull that down, it will the cannon will fire. The another one you're going to want to bind though is a first trigger detent. So, in reality, if you want to laze a target, you use the trigger, but you only use the first stage of the trigger, which is the first trigger detent. So basically, as you pull down on the trigger, it sort of passes a threshold, and then it would turn into guns. But if you just wanted to laze, like using the targeting pod you would just pull down the first trigger detent. So because of that, we're going to bind first trigger detent specifically to manually laze with our targeting pod. The next button we're gonna to wanna to, to to do is TMS up and TMS down. TMS up is used for all sensors that have to do with locking onto something. That's essentially your lock on button. TMS down is sort of your brake lock button. Um, if you do have a lot of buttons on your key on your joystick, you would definitely want to bind TMS right as well, which will sort of sort through uh, groups of contacts that are within four nautical miles on your radar. So what you can do is, is you can quickly switch between them without having to slew your cursor. Um, I have button four using nose wheel steering missile step, which is essentially uh, a control that's actually on the throttle in the real have 16 But this button is super versatile because if you tap it, it will switch the weapon store on your SMS page. If you hold it down, it will actually change the weapon that you currently have selected. So if you wanted to switch between two types of bombs, for instance, you would switch into air to ground mode and then hold down the missile step button to switch from one set, one sort of bomb to the other, or you could tap it to switch between the stores. Of course, you need your pickle button, which is, you know, release ordinance. Then I have um, antenna elevation knob tilt up, and antel antenna elevation knob tilt down. That will actually uh, control the altitude gates that you're. FCR is currently displaying for air-to-air -air contacts. Wheel brake, um, much recommended as well. All these buttons that I'm now describing since radar, uh, since antenna tilt, I would consider these to be secondary if you have a stick that has up to like 12 buttons like the Logitech Stream 3D Pro. Uh, you definitely wanna have wheel brake on your stick. It's not too much of a big deal to press the K button to do wheel brake, wheel braking when you're taxiing, but it's much harder when you're landing to reach over and press the K button when you're on a final landing. So for that reason, I recommend having it on the stick. 
the other button for button 10 for me is DMS down and that will switch the sensor of interest. So by default, you can only have sort of one MFD sort of active or um, in, I would say selected is a better term. And you'll note which one is selected by a white um, border surrounding it. DMS down will allow you to switch between those MFDs to manipulate what's actually on the screen. Okay, one button that is new um, is CMS up. CMS up will run the currently selected ECM program. So what I do, and this is just what I recommend and you guys can do it however you want, um, is you set up your data cartridge so that your program one is essentially a chaff program. And your and then, so when you press, I just leave, personally when I, when I fly, I leave program one selected and all it does is it has chaff in it. And then if I want flare, I actually use program five, which is also known as a slap switch. And I have that bound to my 12th button on the keyboard. Of course I have the throttle set and I have the um, POV hat switch, which is basically the only hat on the Logitech. I have that set for slewing the actual cursor. So what I'll do is I'll provide a I'll provide a link to this profile in the video description and I'll also provide a list of buttons which I would recommend printing out and referencing. Like for instance, you definitely want to know how to raise your landing gear. You want to know how to switch between steer points. Um, these are hotkeys that you definitely want to know. But, and they, they've switched since, uh, well at least the steer points have since the old version of BMS. But I don't need to go over those right now. Um, rather, what I recommend you guys do when you first set up your controls is you load the uh, BMS full key file. You then uh, save it as a different name, like your name or your call sign or whatever. Then you modify and you add all of your keys to your stick or whatever, and then you save it again. Because by loading the, when you first start BMS by default, and this is really important, when you first start BMS, it's, it, I don't think it has anything bound, or maybe it has some random stuff bound. It doesn't have everything bound that you need. So you're definitely going to want to load the uh, BMS full key file first, and then start binding. I should have mentioned that at the beginning of the video, but it slipped my mind. So, again, please reference the video description for a link to my Logitech um, key file as well as a list of the most common controls that you should probably print out and then use as a reference. Of course this is not, of course the ideal solution is to have a Thrustmaster Cougar or a, Ho or a Warthog and have all the, you know, literally all of the controls bound that would be on your HOTUS but for poor people or for those who just want to get in real quick and start flying around and enjoying yourself, this is a sort of compromise. Uh, hope to make some more videos soon and hope you guys have fun.